Hi guys, YouTuber here and today you will witness one of the most spectacular blind tasting in the YouTube history. Blind tasting of the five of the largest champagne houses. So, let's get started. If you're watching my channel for the first time, please consider to subscribe and don't forget to click that notification bell if you'd like to learn more about wine. Now is the time to explain the rules of the tasting. Behind me have five amazing judges. Each of them will taste five of the largest champagne houses in approximately 25 minutes. Each judge will score each champagne by using Robert Parker 100 point system scale. Speaking of wine scale, if you'd like to learn more about how to judge the wines and how to use the wine score, click the link above or one in the description below. Hey guys, I'm Mark, I'm from Ireland and I'm the head of wine for Classic Drinks. Hello, I'm Morgan Vanderkamer, president of the Irish Guild of Sommeliers and owner of Union Wine Bar and Kitchen in Waterford and I'm from Canada. Hello, my name is Anki and uh, I was one of the judges today um, and uh, I'm at the moment considered the best sommelier in the world and uh, gonna be representing the uh, Irish nation in the world best sommelier competition in France. So I'll be looking forward to uh, take the challenge on. Thank you. Cheers. Hello guys, my name is Luca and I own the restaurant Rosa Madre where we drink lots of champagne, as you know. Ciao. Hello, I'm Anna from La Stafa Celola and La Gordita, and I'm from Spain. Okay, guys, let the taste begin. Big time, time to announce the results of this tasting. So, the fifth place with the average score of 89 points get wine number two, which is Piper Heitzig. Fourth place with the average score of 90 points point six get wine number one, which is J. Ash Mum. Color blue. Third place get wine number five with the average score of 91, 91 points, which is Tatanger. Yeah. Second place with the average score of 92 points get wine number four, champagne number four. The second place is. Oh, Vef Clicquot, Yellow Label! Congrats! 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 Before we announce the winner of this tasting, I would like to say many thanks to my sponsor and their friends, which is Paul from Edward Dilland and CEO, Denise from Fev Wines, Ben from Liberty Wines Ireland, Ivan from Bartendis, the guy who's recording this video, thank you so much, the Corkscrew Wine Merchants as well, and finally, Luca and Andrea from Amori Restaurant in Dublin. And now, the winner of the biggest, the largest champagne house tasting in the world, in the media, in the YouTube, is Y, who get 93 points, 93 average points. And the winner is 
מועץ שגון! Well, I have to say now, I'm really surprised about the whole tasting. Um, I'm very surprised about mum. I actually really liked it. Um, I did like very much Moet as well. Um, my favorite was uh, Tettinger, but I actually, I'm really surprised uh, the wines, how they showed. Um, so great tasting. Well done. <laughs> really brilliant tasting. I, um, my pick was Moet and Chandon. Uh, much to my surprise, I suppose. I do think that um, tasting champagne blind is a, is a tasting and a practice that sommeliers, restaurant owners, and even champagne aficionados should do um, on a more regular basis because um, it really uh, gives you a different perspective when uh, you don't know what's, what's behind the label. Well done. But I just want to say thank you for uh, Thomas and Ivan for a lovely morning. Uh, I'm free every Sunday from now on uh, just to do <laughs> any champagne, wine tasting, eat oysters and cheese. Uh, but thank you, it was a lovely tasting. Uh, very surprised, uh, first blind tasting, but it's been amazing. So thank you very much all. Cheers. Yeah, I thought the tasting was great and it really showcased the importance of blind tasting because when you taste blind, you kind of strip your preconceived notions out of the tasting and you just engage with the quality of the product itself. Um, like a few other people today, I picked Moet as my favorite champagne, uh, which was probably a little bit of a, a surprise to me. But, you know, it just goes to show that expensive doesn't always necessarily mean better and you can get really good quality for really fair prices. So thanks to the guys here and a great tasting. So guys, I had a lovely, lovely time today. Sunday morning drinking some champagne with amazing people. That was absolutely beautiful. I picked Web Clicot and I always, you know, thought that I had to taste again Web Clicot because recently it improved a lot and that's just the proof. But all the other champagnes, they, was, they were good and we had so much fun that and it was a brilliant, uh, brilliant uh, day tasting. Cheers everybody and drink champagne. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching, folks. I have to say that was absolutely amazing experience to be host of this tasting. You know what happened today? Moet Chandon won the show. One of the judges scored this particular champagne 96 points and the other one 94. So I think that surprised probably most of you, including myself. But anyway, if you'd like to learn more about sparkling wines, especially what's the difference between cava and champagne, or fun facts about Vif Clicquot Champagne, Click one of those links. Please don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.